Welcome back to the channel on this, what is today, a very grey and bleak day. Um, I've still got COVID, I'm still in isolation, so I thought I'd do a video on how I, my opinion, how I edit my car photos. Um, I'm only going to do the one picture I think, and then I'm going to use two different apps to create the final image. Um, but firstly, I have the new, look at this bad boy, the new Xion, or however you say it, I probably butchered that name, um, Zai, Zion, Zhi, Zion. I've seen a few people say it differently, including the Chinese, so um, who knows, but I've got the new Weeble S gimbal. Um, I've had a little test run with the pooch, um, I may run that footage now actually just for a quick laugh, but first thing I've done, literally balanced it out, dog, get on the sofa, um, and, and done a quick bit of that, so um, that, that turned out cool. I'm going to try another one I think while I'm still in isolation with my lad's bike, and then I will get out and we'll get some proper footage, um, predominantly probably cars, I have got a couple of good shoots lined up. Um, the music video one is oh, so up in the air. Um, models, quite frankly, are a pain. Um, they say that work with women and kids. I might include women into that list as well. Because, uh, yeah, trying to get one to commit to a time and to do it, and uh, oh, it's, it's, it's hard work. But anyway, so my car photography, as we know, um, I enjoy it, I love it, and I want to pursue that side of the photography. I'm going to do all sorts, but I'm going to chase that side. I'm going to push harder for for the car photography, for that scene. I like it. I want to go to some car meets. I can't do as much as I want because I have a family and a job, but I'm going to I'm going to push it. So we'll see where that where that ends up. But my style of editing is different. Um, I do. Do I over edit? Do I not? I don't know. I certainly don't leave any shots unedited. Um, that's not my style. I do have polarizers for every filter, um, of which for car photography is a must. Please, it's a must. Um, and I don't do photos like you see in Max Power where everything's on the piss. I don't bother like that. I, for me, stuff's level. You saw the car, it was level. It wasn't on a bloody hill, um, so it should be level. Uh, you know, there's situations where you might want it on a ramp and stuff like that, obviously, but I still try and keep poles and walls and whatever flat because I just feel that that suits my style better. There's no right and wrong, but everyone gets a phone and goes, yeah, and the first thing you do when you look at that picture is you tilt your head. So it's straight, and we all do it, and you're, you're thinking now, do we? Is that what we do? Go and look at a picture on a, you know, Instagram, some car shots or whatever, find one that's on the piss, and see how you look at it. I promise you, you'll either tilt your phone or you'll tilt your head. Uh, because looking at something on the wonk is horrible. It's not right. It doesn't look right. It's not how you saw it. So that that's how I how I do it. Um, I'll run a couple of sort of shots on how I, you know, a few previous of my favourite car ones as I'm chatting this bit of rubbish and then we will get onto a mobile edit as we know I will do it on a mobile I have got a PC in front of me but it takes me about four times as long and quite frankly I get pretty much the same result certainly in Lightroom um, if you want to start using Photoshop then phew, that's a whole different ball game yes you need the PC but you don't need it for what I do I don't think so we'll get the camera flipped on its side we'll pull up another screen here or here, not sure yet, I'll make my mind up in a minute. Uh, and we'll start a screen recording, so don't go anywhere, let's flip it. Right, so here are the two screens, here is the photo we are going to edit. This is now the second time I'm gonna do this, <laughs> because just now I got probably be about 75% through the edit, and where the screen record button is is also where the tick is to select that you want to do it. Oh my days. And obviously, yes, we're going to get no doubt messages and phone calls and God knows what. That is the downside of doing it on your phone. Anywho, I will now try again to edit this picture. So stick with me. For you, it's a lot less time than it was me because I've already filmed it once. So here you go. Here is the shot. First thing I'm going to do is, at least I've had some practice, I suppose. I'm going to change the crop to a 4x5. I'm going to Pull it in, I'm scared to be touching it on the damn screen now. I'm going to pull it into a 4x5 because I want that light just on the top there. And then we want the badges and the headlights and all that business dead central. The lights in the car park I got about as central as I could when we were parking this car. And as you probably will know, this is Seven Valleys Yaris GR400. Soon to be a GR500. Um, so if you haven't seen the video of where I made a little promotional movie, film, whatever you want to call it, advert for this car, 
make sure you go down into, I won't even save a description because I probably forget to put it in there. Just go check the channel, it's on there. Um, it's been received very well and uh, I'm dead happy with how it came out. New gimbal, it's gonna do a better job. Oh yes, it is, so I'm looking forward to that one. So, right, on with the edit. So we've got the crop that we want. I'd normally hit auto, but because this one's got pretty much the sort of the right contrast to whatever that I'm after, I'm not going to bother hitting the auto because that's going to brighten it up. But I don't really want that in this shot. So we've done the crop. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak the colour down. I'm going to go for just for a bit of a cold look. So we'll pull the, the hues down to sort of the temperature and get it right down so it looks nice and cold. And then we're going to go into the separate colours and we're just going to up that yellow, up the luminance a little bit just to make that pop a little bit more. Click done. Uh, I am just going to kind of fly through this a little bit, so you know it's not going to be absolutely perfect. But um, we'll go as quick as we can. Just going to darken that floor off a little bit. We'll then pop a radial gradient filter. Filter? Is it called a filter? I don't know. Because I want to just highlight the number plate and that um, intercooler. Could be a radiator, but chances are being a big fat turboed car, it's probably an intercooler, uh, but I don't know for sure. So we'll select that as okay. I'm then gonna pop in a smaller radial filter. Across this yellow strip at the bottom there, just see if we can just highlight that a bit more. There we go, just pop that out a little bit. And the color and up the saturation a bit. So already, we're starting to look pretty cool. We've popped that front out a little bit, and we haven't even touched anything to do with the light yet. So I think contrast... Mm, see, this is how you do it. You just slide until you feel you've got the right bit, but I think, to be honest, where it was, it's been all right. Highlights will knock some of the reflection off that car. Up a little bit of exposure, I might lift a little bit of shadow. And a little bit of white. And then we'll go over to the effects. I'm gonna up the clarity so we get a bit more kind of sharper, reflection-y type. Don't know, just looking a bit more metal and a bit harsher. Um, you know, if it was portrait and kids and whatever, then you'd soften those clarities and, and bring it down. But for the car stuff, certainly indoor with this fluorescent lighting, I think it, it works quite well. Up a bit of texture. We'll look at the dehaze just to knock a bit of that light off above the car. And then we'll put a little bit of vignette in. Not too much. How are we looking? So, original, which wasn't a bad shot. Um, and then what I've ended up with, again, this is all only in my opinion. Um, people will edit how they want. You can go slightly leery and really turn these sort of purples into sort of some neon Japanese style maybe, but I don't really want it. I have got a purple edit of this car. Don't really want to do that one right now. Gonna up a little bit of vibrance and saturation. Don't want to go too over the top. Quite right, you in my tummy. Okay. Now what you will see over here, I've got some uh, lens flare, and a little bit of chromatic aberration off the uh, lights here. Easiest way to get rid of that is just knock your purple out because there's nothing else purple in the shot, and I can't bother to go in and try and remove all that. Certainly not now. Uh, at which point now, when you go back in. It's nowhere near as obvious. Yeah, there's a slight mark there, but it's not purple. So, and the, the slight tinge of purple around the headlights has also sort of disappeared now. So that is looking pretty decent. Just as a, just as a, another one. Just as a quick, uh, a quick one there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fire this into another app. I'm just going to show you something real quick and easy. Um, again, this was all done just on here. You know what I mean? So we'll fire it into another app. So two seconds, and we'll be in another app. So, here we are. I've sent the picture over to an app called Polish. Um, it has got another name, but when you actually download the app, it's a big, it's a white P of a pink um, banner thing. I'll drop the app down in the description so you can see it. Again, this is on Android. It might be on Apple. I don't know. Um, but there's something very simple to do that you've seen me do, and I'm just going to go and do it. But I'm going to just try and move my recording button before I hit the wrong button again. So, this is very simple but it just makes a nice little bit of difference to your pictures. Like I say, mine are slightly more unusual than the obvious, so um, I just try and tweak them. I'm looking for new ways each time. I've got some that have got smoke in and, and, and all sorts, but I've done those now, so I'm trying to find something a bit different. But this is one of the simpler ones that I like to do. And you go across on this app to double exposure. You then click add. You then go to whatever logo you want, 
download them off the internet, you know what I mean, just Google, um, whatever it is you're after, PNG, and you'll get it with no background, transparent. Nice and simple, now this one does just line up, take me a few seconds, so just bear with. So you put it where you want it, um, roughly in the center there. You've then got different options to make it lighter, darker, etc, etc, and then you can change the opacity as well. So once you find the one that you're after, I think one like that's going to suit it quite well, or, or would this one be better? Oh, see so that's a tricky one. Um, I think I'll go with that one because it just goes to the light slightly more. So you select the one you're after, you've then got a picture of a little rubber kind of rubber. <laughs> Click that and you can then rub out what you need to rub out and you can move the picture. So you go in, get your little, uh, little, fancy, little fancy pen and you rub out any bits that you want to rub out. Obviously this is just a quick one, I, I would normally go right in close, zoom in up on the other end of this pen, there's a little fine point, and I'd go in and do it with the fine point, but to just a quick edit, you'll get the gist, and just like that, you've got a pretty sexy picture of an amazing Yaris, nice little logo behind, Toyota would be proud. Um, I did send it to Toyota, and they were proud. I don't think they're going to use it, but they were proud. They they were like, this is really cool, very nice. We'll be, yeah, we'll be in touch, and I was like, okay. <laughs> they won't be. Um, but there you go. That is how I edit car photos. Let me stop that screen at least. Um, that's how I edit my car photos. Those are the two main apps that I go to. Obviously, I have other apps and a PC and whatever, but that's my go-to, and it works for me. Uh, people will be happy and they don't mind paying a few quid so that's what I'm after that's it um, nothing else to say you know what's coming up on the channel got the gimbal I like the cars I'll do plenty of other stuff as well so don't just bugger off yet and be like oh yeah he likes cars see you later uh, I'll still do it all but while I'm in isolation I thought why not I'm going to um, just do a little edit video people like them and if you don't uh, cool right until the next one peace out